Now that you know how to create programs with SNAP, let's go over how to save and export what you've been working on. Select the file icon located here. Now move down and select Save As. Here you have two options for saving your program. Option 1 is to save the program to your browser. This will save your program to the browser's cache. This is great if you don't find yourself clearing your cache too often. If you clear your cache, it will delete your saved program. Title your program and select Save. Option 2 for saving your program would be to save your program to the cloud-based storage provided by SNAP. If you do not have a cloud account, you can create one and log in by selecting the cloud by the file option. Select Sign Up and you will be prompted to fill out the info you see here. Some teachers prefer to have the whole class work from one account, instead of keeping track of several accounts, and that is totally possible in this system. Multiple SNAP sessions can be opened at once without any interference. You will be asked if you have read through the Terms and Services Agreement. Be sure to look it over. Once you have completed that, select OK. A text box should appear confirming that your account has been created. After that, you will have access to cloud-based storage with SNAP. Now you'll be able to log into your account. Select the cloud icon again and choose Login. Once you are logged in, select the file icon and choose Save As. This time, let's choose the cloud. The benefit to saving to the cloud is as long as you have access to SNAP and the Internet, you will have access to the programs you create. Now while there are two ways to save your program as is, you can also save your program as an XML file. To do so, select the file icon and choose Export Project. This will open a new tab in your browser where your program will appear as an XML file. Head to your browser options to save your program by clicking Save Page As. Now change the name of your file to match the way you have it saved elsewhere. You can name it anything you'd like, but I find it helpful when all of my titles are consistent. Click Save and your program's XML file will be saved to your computer. Opening an XML file is a little different only in the fact that it must be imported into SNAP. You will need to open a new SNAP window. Access the file icon again and select Import. Select your XML file and it will be imported into SNAP. And that is how you save and export files in SNAP programming. For more info, check out our other tutorials.